Y'all, so many of you have requested this and I am so excited. I cannot wait. And I'm a little nervous because I'm seeing this warning, but let's freaking do it. Yeah, I got up state like a month ago I was talking to fans and one of them pulled me inside and said we never met But I swear that you know who I am, I've been through a lot I don't know how to express it to people, don't think that I can But I got that man's ZD on rotation, that's real for me, Nate, you do not understand It's crazy for me, kids hit me up, say they slid and they wrist on the daily This music is more than you think, don't book me for just entertainment It's entertaining, hearing these parents, they telling their kids My music is violent, you gotta be kidding me I guess that your definition of violence in mind is something that we look at differently How do you picture me, huh? Want me to smile? You want me to laugh? You want me to walk in the stage with a smile on my face when I'm mad and put on a mask? For real though, I mean what you expect from me? I'm trying to do this respectfully, they say that life is a race I knew my problems would probably catch up eventually I do my best to be calm Hold on a second, hold on This is why this music is so powerful this is why metal music is so powerful. This is why music in general is so powerful. It's because it makes people who don't feel seen, who don't know how to express themselves, like this kid who had the mansion CD on rotation, feel seen, feel how to feel like he can express something. And then it just makes me so sad. Like I get it as a parent, it's tough out there. Like no hate, but like this music is deep. This music is not, it's not violent. It's, it's real. It's helping people express themselves. And then he's like, what do you want from me? You want me to smile? You want me to fake it? And he draws it on that mask. Oh, brilliant. Okay, let's go back to For me, I'm trying to do this respectfully. They say that life is a race. I knew my problems would probably catch up eventually. I do my best to be calm. How you gonna write me and tell me you slaughter my family? That's just a glimpse of the stuff. That makes me so sad. The, the things that people say to public people on the internet is terrifying it's so sad i can't even imagine the terrible things that he gets in his dms in his comments that makes me really sad why i actually paused was because i just want to say can you imagine being the kid that went up to him at a, at a show and was like i feel like you get me like this mansion cd it's about my rotation and then it's in this song i'm sure many many people have said that but that's just pretty cool. Let's go back. Okay. I do my best to be calm. How you gonna write me and tell me you slaughter my family? That's just a glimpse of the stuff that gets said to me. These are the parts of my life that I'll never see. Woo! I am aware it's aggressive. I am not here for acceptance. I don't know what you expect here, but what you expect when you walk in a therapy session. Yep. That's what it is. That's what he's saying. He's like, my music, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not here for acceptance. I'm here because this is my therapy session. Because this is where I work through stuff that's hard. And sometimes that means I'm aggressive. And sometimes that means I get angry. And sometimes that means I cry. And sometimes that means I scream and shout. And I see that with my clients. I want that. I want them to walk into that space and know that it is a place where they can be and feel and express whatever they need to in that moment because you got to feel it to move through it. Feel it to free it. And that's what he does in his music is he feels it and he frees it so that other people can feel it too. The choral therapy session. Ooh, literally, can I make that into like my, my soundtrack of like... In my office, when you walk in, it's just a court, whatever, okay. This girl in the show looked me in the face and told me a life full of drama. Yeah. Said her dad is abusive, apparently he likes to beat on her mama. I got so angry inside, I wanted to tell her to give me his number. 
But what you gon' do with it, right? You gon' hit them up, then they'll start hitting the harder that's real These kids, they come to my shows, the tears in their eyes Imagine someone looking at you and saying Your music's the reason that they're alive Sometimes I don't know how to handle it This type of life isn't glamorous This ain't an act for the cameras You see me walk on these stages But have no idea what I'm dealing with after it I put it all in the open This is the way that I cope with all my emotion I'm taking pictures with thousands of people But honestly, I feel like nobody knows me I'm trying to deal with depression I'm trying to deal with the pressure How you gonna tell me my music does not have a message When I'm looking out of this crowd full of people I know are affected yeah. I got some things in my life I know I should let them go Let me jot it down Let me take a mental note I'll put it all on this microphone Think about that for a minute What is the point of this song I'm just venting But what you expect from a therapy session He's the realest that ever was. Literally. Literally. It's so real. Like, I, I get the privilege of working with many musicians, like, at Heartsport and interviewing them. And so many of them talk about how these kids, they come to shows with tears in their eyes. Imagine looking at someone looking at you and saying, your music's the reason they're alive. That is so freaking beautiful, powerful, and pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And NF is so brave to just even be naming all of this and like the parasocial reality of like you hear the music and so you think you know someone, but you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what happens when he steps off stage. You don't know how he's trying to deal with depression and the pressure. And then people are telling him that his music doesn't have a message. So like the invalidation of that. Oh, <sighs> so, so good. Okay. All right, let's keep going. What you think about me? That doesn't worry me. I know I handle some things immaturely. I know that I need to grow in maturity. I ain't gonna walk in these stages in front of these people and act like I live my life perfectly. That doesn't work for me. Christian is not the definition of a perfect me. Whoa! I ain't the type to be quiet. I ain't gonna sit here in silence if I wouldn't say what I say to your face. And I promise you I wouldn't say it in private. I am not lying. People go off on my page and I'm trying to quit the replying. But this is ridiculous. I'm passionate, man. See a whole lot of talking on socials, but honestly, I don't see nothing in public. I kind of love it, yeah. Why don't you write us some happy raps? That would be awesome. All of your music is moody and dark, man. <laughs> don't get me started. You want to know what it's like if you met me in person? Listen to my verses. This music is not just for people who sit in the pews and pray at the churches. Nah. I've been rejected. I don't expect everyone to respect it. I don't expect you to get my perspective on what you expect from a therapy session. Ah! I mean, oh. I think sometimes people, they confuse what I'm doing. I write about life, I write about, about things that I'm actually dealing with. Something that I'm actually experiencing. This is real for me. Like this is something that personally helps me as well. I'm not confused about who gave me the gift. God gave me the gift and he gave me the ability to, to do this and he also gave me this as an outlet. And that's what music is for me. When I feel something, whether it's anger, um, it's a passion about something, a frustration, like this is where I go. This is, this is, that's the whole NF real music thing, man. This is real for me. I need this. This is a therapy for me. For me. How that sounded like a real therapy session at the end is so sick. This song is a lesson in vulnerability. It's beautiful. Like th it doesn't get realer than this. I mean, it, it does because like all of his songs are this real and Ren and you know, you guys on the side of this YouTube video are like NF shows coming up soon. And I'm like, New York, 
Oh, did I just miss him? Okay. Near Savant, Connecticut. Bro, bro, that's far. Bro, that's far. Let's just talk about a couple things that I that I noticed about this song that I think is really cool. One, how he talks about how this music is for him too. How like he's not just doing this for other people. He's doing it because he has to. Because it's a call on his life, but also it's an outlet for his pain. That this is real. This isn't made up. And so when he gets messages like, like that, I'm going to slaughter your family. This is a real person that people are sending these messages to. And he's talking about, he's like, I see it on social media, but nobody's coming for me in real life. It's like in real life, they're able to remember his humanity. But when he's behind a screen, they think that he's something and somebody that, that can't be hurt by words. They forget that this is a real person with real feelings who has experienced these real experiences that are writing this song. And it's like, I'm sorry that my music and the way that I express myself sometimes is inconvenient for you, but it's therapy for me. And therapy isn't always pretty. It's not always healing a linear progression. It's a, it's a one day you're angry, one day you're crying, one day you're happy and you're celebrating your progress. The next you're feeling you're right back at square one because it's, it's supposed to be a place where there's space for it all. Like music. I, what I think is so beautiful about this song is that it points to the fact that therapy is about honest expression. Whatever it looks like. Unfiltered honesty. And that's what NF does in this song. What he does in a lot of his music is he gets really real and realness is sometimes really uncomfortable for people who don't understand it. And realness sometimes gets misunderstood by people, but he does it anyway. And so when you listen to this song, I want it to be a call to that own, your own boldness in you. You don't have to be in a therapy room to Harness the power of therapy, which often comes from honest expression in a safe space, in a channeled way. And maybe you do that through music. Maybe you do that through listening to the song. But when you listen to this, maybe you can even express yourself. Maybe you can visualize yourself on a therapy couch saying the real hard things that you need to say that you maybe haven't said yet. Maybe it's you haven't told your therapist yet. Maybe you haven't even been honest with yourself about them. So listen to this and visualize yourself doing that. Let it summon the courage. Let it summon the bravery within you to express honestly. Because that's therapy, baby. And this song can be a therapy session. If you just sit, close your eyes and see yourself saying what needs to be said expressing the truest, scariest parts of you. And if you want a place to put that expression, you can put it in the comments and share it by tagging at heart support. And we will encourage you because that's what we do. And we want to be there for you. We want to encourage you through whatever you are going through. And I cannot tell you and teach you how to be a therapist in this time. That took me a two years of a graduate degree. But what I can do is help you be a better supporter of people. And if you click this link, you get the five songs that I use to help me be a better supporter of other people. So it's exclusive content. So you got to get it. You don't have to pay for it like I did for my graduate school degree. You get it for free. You just got to hit that link. Okay, babies. I love you. Have a good day.